Alright, right. hello. We're back. Sorry. Everything broke. Uh, we had to uh, clean out the cobwebs. Yeah. Uh, something went wrong. But now it's working. Can you see the game now? This um this character, this the character that we are, she is swole. Yeah. She is swole Adam Ad Eve. Swole Eve. Uh, yeah, swole out of me. All right, cool. So now we gotta go find the Cyclops eye. Were you right with the HDMI? It wasn't the HDMI, it was our software was lagging. Our stream software. Can you see the game? You can see me, can you see the game? Hey, what's up John Davento? I think the, the game camera is on right now, so. Is it on? Yeah, we're in the what corner, and then they see the game. Pretty sure. What you like about this Assassin's Creed, it's kind of like that other Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it's good. Uh, you remaster says you can see me, that's good. Oh, that's calling the bird. It's calling our drone. Ooh. You gotta use the drone. AKA the magical bird. That's one. I have a bird like this in the D&D game I'm playing and I forget that I have it and to use it. And now I'm reminded that I have it and I should use it. Fortunately, the bird can see through the mountain. Oh, all birds can see through mountains, even little parakeets. That's true. I think we can tag enemies now, though. So it's all about a little scout run here. So one of the things I love about both Origins and Odyssey is, like, how a lot of these are very, like, kind of... There's not really, like, a path in. It's just, like, scout it out, see where the guys are, yourself. Can you poop on anyone? No. Oh. I feel bad I have... Uh, there's a tree that fell over at my new place. Uh, during the storm uh, this past weekend, and uh, uh, this past week, I guess, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a hummingbird nest in there. And yesterday, I was having breakfast on the patio, watching the hummingbird, trying to figure out what to do about it. the fact that its nest is gone, and I felt very bad for it. Oh, yeah, it's hard out there for a wild animal. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm losing my mind because I just thought I heard a bee buzz right by my ear and I freaked out and then I was like, of course there's no bee in here. I'm just hearing things. I think I'm going crazy. Yeah, well, we've all known that for a while. Yeah. All those jokes about my girl finally coming back to haunt me. Uh, so, let's see. How would I rate the suits in the new DLC? They're great. High security here. I need cover. They're really, really cool. They are pretty cool. I like them a lot. Yeah. There's one in particular I really, really love. Mm hmm I can tell you which one it is. Oh, my God. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. Oh, assassins. Yeah, you stabbed him in the butt. <laughs> yeah, well, I did what I had to do. Okay. They say that a key to a man's heart is through his butt. Uh, do they? Well, the ancient Greek people did. Or is this Roman? This is Greece. Greek, okay. Yeah. This is definitely Greece. What are, what are, what are my location objectives here? Kill bandit leader, loot treasure. Okay. So this is all about being... Assassino! Yeah. Ooh, look, there's another guy there. See, there's a lot of dudes all in one place. Oh, he just almost saw me. Oh no, he's coming to investigate. Oh no. Are you guys talking about the Red Dead multiplayer? Yeah, I haven't played it. It seems pretty crazy. It looks funny. And uh, yes, I think this playable character, if they were a real life person, they could beat me at arm wrestling. I'm trying to be so stealthy, and then, as you can see, she's able to kill four warriors by herself, so I do think she'd be able to beat me at arm wrestling. Although she probably never saw it over the top, and I've seen it like seven or eight times, so I know the technique. I can turn my hat backwards to get that extra juice. She doesn't know that trick. Really. Get a couple of these guys down. This is bad. I'm in trouble. Where's your health? At the bottom. It's, just, it's gone. You're like one more hit and you're dead? Yep. 
Oh, see? Oh. Uh, I, but I almost got through it. Ooh, stab you in the butt. I know. What's with everyone stabbing everyone in the butt? I don't know. I mean, I'm not complaining, it's just an observation. Imagine a world where players could just shoot you in the face whenever they feel like. That's Red Dead Online. Well, that's freedom the for you. West, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought you wanted what thought you wanted a, a playground to play in. I watched Three Ten to Yuma last night, the Christian Bale remake, mm -hmm. and uh, I've seen it before, but, yeah, but when it came Crow out it. and Russell Crowe, yeah. yeah. man, Red Dead is so so inspired by that movie in particular. I know there's lots of westerns that influenced it, and like just westerns in general, but specifically Three Ten to Yuma, that is like Red Dead the movie. Yeah. It really is. I haven't watched it in a long since it came out. I saw it in the theater. Russell Crowe is basically Dutch. All right. Well, I get another chance to do this stealth. And um, they talk about they they have all the same guns and everything. And um, it's just very very similar. It's good. It's a good movie. Man, my neck is all busted. Oh. Why why is your neck so busted? I need Swole Adam to come in here and get me in a headlock. I put. I shouldn't have said that. He's probably watching. and He'll probably really do it. Yeah, and then tell him he's gonna bench press you. No, he's not allowed to bench press me. That's too. It's. I don't want him to bench press me because it's too. Humiliating? Humiliating, yeah. It's like. Yeah, it's. It's emasculating. I don't know why you're so uptight about it. I mean, it's good entertainment. It's. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing much better at assassinating everything now. Which was my original strategy, and then I accidentally got Spotify. Setzer, Davin, or Davin. I was tricked by two players who said they were friendlies, and then I got shot in the face after I put my weapon away. I went on a rampage and killed them many times afterwards. That's hilarious. So, in the Mark Twain book, Mark Twain wrote lots of, like, Old West stuff. Um, for those of you in Europe or whatever who aren't familiar with Mark Twain beloved American author. Mm -hmm. um, he wrote a book called Roughing It, which was like a semi-biography about his experience from the East Coast, taking a wagon train to the West uh -huh. and being on the frontier and stuff like that. And the story is about this guy who tricked people by making them put their gun away, and then as soon as they did, he would take out his gun and shoot them. See the, did you see me stab him right in the nuts there? Yeah. Um, now, you know what I realized? We should have played Hitman too. Hitman would be a great speed game. Oh, my girlfriend's roommates are playing Hitman. Yeah. I, oh, nice. I, you did 69 damage to that guy. Huh. Yeah, Hitman would be fun. I think I. Did you see the commercials for Hitman with Sean Bean? They were pretty cool. They had like a whole series of them. Uh, no, I didn't see. Uh, no, I don't think so. They they were pretty good. He acted the shit out of them. Okay, so that guy's confused. I found the spot that hurts. I'm trying to loosen it up, like tenderizing the meat. Yeah. <laughs> I actually had a pretty good headache last night. Because like, I think I fell asleep awkwardly. Key and Prime, there's these things called the Cabbage Patch People. And when parents love each other very much, they go to the Cabbage Patch. And they... Pick out the baby. And there you go. Yeah, dog. Assassino! I always think of, like, Assassin's Creed 2 will always be the one where I was like, Assassino! In my head. Jeez, my neck is so busted. When you're done rubbing your neck, you want to rub mine a little? <laughs> Give me a little shoulder rub? No. No? Is that, not a white, is that a white bug violation? Probably. Oh, we got the eye. Oh, I like the lighting in here. This is exactly what it would like, uh, look like. Really good lighting. Well, I'm gonna loot this treasure though first. We gotta get that treasure. At least the bird saw the treasure, so we know where it is. I wouldn't have the patience to hunt if there wasn't a marker on my screen. Oh, yeah, we got the game awards Thursday. We've got another mm -hmm. holiday party going in tomorrow. Going to the Bengals game on Sunday. Chargers Bengals. Oh, I'm tired. Like, I'm, this a lot, a, yeah. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. Oh, wait. Are there any puddles in Assassin's Creed? I, I don't know. Mm. We probably got them beat. Yeah. More puddles in our oh, game. We also had female assassins before they did. Yeah. 
Got in so much trouble for that. Goodness. Oh, all right. That is everything. All right, now I can return the eye. Uh, are the game awards gonna air on TV? No, I think they air on like streaming platforms. I think they're on Twitter. I think you can watch it on Twitter. I'm sure, you can watch it on YouTube. I imagine you can watch it on Xbox Live. Maybe on PlayStation. I don't know. Uh, Jeff Keeley's Twitter will tell you everywhere you can watch it. So, but they are on a TV network. That I do know for sure. I mean, well, I don't know that for sure. They could be on a TV network, and I'd be surprised. But I'm pretty sure they're not on a TV network. Uh, will the next DLC yet be out before vacation? Uh, it'll be out in December. That's all we've said. Mm -hmm. And it Day is two. December now. So it'll be out this month. Yeah. Depends on your vacation. If your vacation doesn't start till December 31st, well, you could probably be relatively safe. Just do what a bear does. Go in a cave and hibernate. You'll wake up. It'll be out. Yeah. It's coming soon. Isn't it weird how bears hibernate? Be nice, huh? Just like sleep away. Well, actually, no. I wouldn't want to sleep away months. That would suck. Think how bad they got to pee when they wake up. That's true. I hadn't thought about that. Huh. I think that little girl had a quest for me, but I'm too busy. Mm. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what's showing up at the Game Awards, honestly. What did you do? Why is this guy attacking me? My beloved Citos. Oh, they're swearing. Was that a rooster you were attacking? Oh, man, that guy's... Pretty nuts. You got the double clubs. You're in Marcos Vineyard. That's like Marcos Vineyard. Careful. Oh. I don't know what just happened. Uh. Waiting for a vinyl record to, from Mondo is taking long to ship it overseas to Ireland. Sorry, dude. The vinyl record is cool though. Why don't you cool. just listen to some Bono in the meantime? He's Irish. Corey just repeats Arnold quotes when he showers. Yeah, it's probably true. Um, what do I... I do sing sometimes when I'm in the shower. I don't really say Arnold when I'm in the shower. You usually sing Spice Girl songs. Oh, yeah. So, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really want. I want, I want... I don't know. Is it How the rest of it goes. If, if you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. I never got that part, you gotta get with my friends, but it means like you gotta be tight with my friends, not right. like you gotta hook up with my friends. I always thought that was, you know, unproductive. It's like, oh, you we want to be in a relationship? Well, then go, you know, do all my friends and then come back to me and I'll ask them how you did and then if it's good, then we can be together. That's not gonna be a healthy relationship at all. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, return the eye. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought you had to return something else to that statue. <laughs> I thought I... Oh, well. No, I thought I was going to have to go... Get like it. in the Goonies, remember? They knock over the statue and they got to put the thing back on and they put it on upside down. That movie's rated PG, by the way, so it's fine. So. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Pre-PG-13 movies. Justin, what's your song? <laughs> what's your... What's your song? Oh, maybe Spice Girls. It didn't have to be Spice Girls. No. Death, Death Cares, CTSG. Justin likes that Scatman song, you know? <laughs> it's the Scatman. You know that one? <laughs> nice. Scatman. Climb up the statue. We've already climbed the statue. We know it's anatomically correct. Um, yeah. RJR Webb, <laughs> game with Nikki. Graveyard Universe and Exo Assassino. Thank you all for following. Oh. I'm kinda groggy today. Yeah, me too. Well, it's Monday. Uh, and this weekend was old. Yeah. I saw, uh, so I saw, I went to, I went to Harry Potter land last night. Uh, oh, I see, there's people attacking the vineyard. And that's why I'm... Oh, are they like just immerse, uh, or like, yeah. like Vikings or something? He just got two giant matchsticks. He, he looks like an American gladiator. I wonder if you walk. Dude, I do not remember how to fight in this game, which is not good. Oof. What's my favorite Christmas music? 
Um, I like the Frank Sinatra album. Mannheim Steamroller's great. Yeah. I like that Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas is you. Would your American Gladiator name be? Malibu. Yeah, it makes sense, actually. Yeah. I figured it had to be something. I would definitely be Malibu. There, there's this um, this guy that I read blogs on the internet that makes all these blog posts about American Gladiators and 80s shit and like over the top he, had, he did like an interview with Malibu I think and like the guy has this funny highlight where he gets knocked like hard really hard on that one where they're up on the tower and the guy swings and kicks him and the guy just kicked him like right in the chest and like obviously like messed him up bad and he's like it's all good man because I woke up and I was like on a beach with some gnarly waves, bro. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. oh my god. Yes, Malibu. Um, uh, Rematch Resistance driving home for Christmas. Can't wait to see those faces driving home for Christmas. Yeah. I- I'm happy to read any Christmas song lyrics people post in the chat. Mariah Carey is not trash. I'll tell you who's yeah. trash. Nick Cannon. Uh, here, let me play again. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna try and fight. Yeah, I don't know how to play. Yeah, I'm gonna try and fight that those guys. But I'm gonna see if I can remember how to fight because I don't remember how to fight at all, which is not not good. Okay, square dodge, tap L1 and R1 to parry. Okay. You and your friend got into a fight today, and I don't know what to do. What type of fight? Like a verbal fight, or like yeah, like, like a millennial hear. texting fight, or like fist yeah, fight? Let's hear about the fight. I want to help. We're gonna help. Yeah. For you today, I I'm gonna do it. For the rest Listen. of the day, if you have relationship problems, if you have friendship advice problems, Wait, I forget which I the had doctor is, and I yeah. are in. I know. I'm. Um, I'm like. Well, this is like love line today. I'll yeah, be doctor. Your love line, and I'm. I'm doctor. I'm. I'm doctor, doctor Phil. Drew? I'm doctor Phil. Oh. Yeah. You're gonna be. Uh, you're doctor Phil. All right. Yeah. Can you do the voice? Oh man. I'd... I would need to like listen to it a bit to because I just. Well, uh, now here yeah. you go, yeah. boy. Yeah. Like now. It's yeah. not just the voice, it's like what type of words yeah, he says, you know? Yeah, he does but, that. Um, no, I have a scar under my eye from when my best friend at the time punched me in the face because I did something really bad and I deserved it, and then we had a big falling out, and I learned a lot from that. I forget which eye it is. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Okay, a verbal fight. Okay. Verbal was, fight. What's the fight about? Yeah, Let's, come yeah. on, more details link the yeah. Gamer92. We need to be able to help you. We can't help you if you don't share. Look, you'll feel better if you get this off your chest. To was a, it a, a disagreement or what, did someone do something unfortunate? What happened? CTSG, this game is absurdly long. Yeah, we're only like two hours into it. It feels long. But, you know, that's what games are like these days. Everybody wants games that last forever, so... Lewis, you can try to punch me. Oh, Remaster's talking about apparently Bethesda's giving people the canvas bags instead of the ones they should. Oh, instead of the trash bags? Oh. Oh, God. No! It's unfortunate that that one customer support person that they had hired, like, basically, like, the, the damage that that person did with their smarminess. Okay. See, now that I know the dodge button, things are going a lot better. Yeah. I was just like, what button is dodge? It's X, right? I'm like, no, it's not X. Same phone who dis, that's good of you. Bring it home alone and make the kitties yeah, watch it. Yeah, that's right, eat it! <laughs> Lewis genuinely wants to punch me. <laughs> Once bitten, twice shy, I keep my distance, but you still catch my and tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Well, it's been a year, it doesn't surprise me. Merry Christmas, I wrapped it up and sent it. Either Link is typing a really long story about their fight, or they just like, eh, never mind. I give you some advice what about did I if I got my What did I name my horse in Red Dead? Tim. I named my horse Tim. Oh, yeah. I be careful. Uh, you know how many we're mad. We still don't have any details on this fight. Anyone else have any relationships yes. you want to talk about? Well, about being I'll talk about my relationship with Dunkin' Donuts and, Donuts and how it's over because they changed their name to Duncan. This rock what do you mean? By a house they just changed the name to Duncan. Yet, it's still not enough to they're not Dunkin' Donuts games. anymore? No, they're Don't Duncan. No. Think of all I'm the more of a coffee pen. place anyway. Especially on the East Coast. They're, they're trying to like change their image, make them all, you know, like, oh, hey, we're all upscale. It's like, dude, you're Dunkin' Donuts. Just... This will work. I promise Why change the formula? Don't, don't do it. Do you like Home Alone? Take the eye. Yeah, I yeah. Home Alone. Oh, a long time ago. Mm. So it's being pointed out to me. They know exactly Ashley's pointing this out to me. That the color theory in that movie, everything is red and green. 
I think that's everything. enough for one day. Like the mm. entire movie, Marcos. the theme, like everything. It does better. have very. I remember a lot of the shots. All of the, in the movie. all the all of the traps are red and green. Mm -hmm. Paint cans, red okay. and green paint cans. Well, it's Christmas colors. Well, I, I yes, I know. Obviously, like everything is into that. And, that, and I was like, wow, that's good for when I rewatch that at some point this holiday. Oh, to pay attention to the yeah, motif. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Here's the story. It was an argument about someone told me they said something about me. So I confronted them. They said they never said that thing about me. And it pretty much went from there. Oh. Oh, so are you on Survivor? <laughs> yeah, that that is gossip. And uh, I'm guessing you're like, like what, in high school or something like that? 92. Yeah, it's, it's, assuming that's his birth year. Mm -hmm. A lot of that happened when I was in high school, too. Um, so, when I was that age, everyone is terrified, and their reputation is, like, super important, and at the same time, they're super cruel to each other, and they don't quite have the uh, compassion for other people and they're very selfish and act like jerks all the time and grade eight okay yeah that's when i was like at my worst that was actually when uh it was a little before when i had i was grade nine when i had my big fight with my friend where i got punched in the face and i deserved it um but yeah all right so i'll tell that story and then i'll give some advice to link the gamer um hold on there's just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, that's the lyrics of the Mariah Carey song. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, 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 yeah. I've, I've read the... Okay, so my story was that there was this kid at our school that would break into cars and steal the CDs out of the little thing that would go on the visor where you store the CDs in the visor back when people listen to CDs. And we all told him, don't do that, that's messed up. And like, we knew some of the people who had done that to their car and stuff. And so we we're like, all right, we don't like this kid. And I was driving with my friend and we saw that kid walking down the road. And we were like, oh man, let's go back to my house and get eggs and then drive past him and do a drive by egging. Cause he's the guy that breaks in everyone's cars and we hate him, right? So we did it, we went to my house and got eggs and we drove back and he wasn't there anymore. But then my friend was there walking. And my friend had done nothing wrong. And we had the eggs and we were all hopped up on egging this kid. And then we were like, let's just egg my friend instead. And we just drove by, egged my friend. And uh, and then he showed, and then we went over to my friend's house. And then my friend showed up at the door, like with the eggs on him and stuff. And he's like, what the fuck, you know? And I was like, man, I don't know, I feel awful. Like, I don't know what came over me. Like we were, and then he just punched, just sucker punched me. And we started fighting and, um, and we got pulled away from each other, and uh, we didn't talk for like a year. And then like wow. we saw each other, like at um, orientation for tenth grade or something like that. And I, and I was like, hey man, like I feel terrible about all that stuff. He's like, yeah, me too. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. And our friendship was never the same, but we made up at least. But it was. He's yeah. making a list. He's checking it twice. Yeah. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. He's coming to town. So anyway, Link the Gamer. Stupid shit happens when you're that age, and I think the best thing to do is just try to rise above it and not not let it be the center of your world and like dwell on it so much. And you just tell them like, hey, listen, I, I heard that like some things were said about me. That's not true, and like you can just come talk to me directly if you have something to say. But otherwise, like you know, don't do that. It's not cool. Okay. Key and, and that's it. Yeah, Kian Prime says he got lunches in the face by some girl. Uh, why did she throw her lunch in her face, and what was the lunch? Was it like a particularly saucy lunch? Oh, punched in the face. No, 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 no. He said lunches in the face. Maybe she like projectile vomited onto him because the lunch was really bad. Well, so much for being the stealthy assassin here, huh? Oh, man. We're doing well, how are you? Oh my god, I need the colors on colors that I can parse. I see your name is Spider something, it's not readable color. 
readable colors. There we go. Spider-Man. Alright, how are you doing? We're well. Thank you. You've seen Eyes Wide Shut, weirdest Christmas movie. That's well, not a Christmas movie. Stanley Kubrick is always weird. It is not a Christmas movie either. Like, that does not count. It's set at Christmas, but that doesn't make it a Christmas movie. That's the thing people sometimes forget. Mm -hmm. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Has yeah. themes around Christmas. Gremlins? Christmas movie. Yes. Eyes Wide Shut? Not a Christmas movie. Not really. Okay, so you like Eyes Wide Shut quite a bit, though. Yeah, I need to watch it again. It's been a while, but I do love Kubrick. Pretty sure I have the Blu-ray film borrow. It's all, well, it's on Netflix, too. Um, uh, have you watched Black Panther? No, I'll watch it at the break. I will. I will. You've said that before. Well, this time I mean it. <laughs> Do you? Alright, so Link is asking, should I apologize to the person I argued with or just leave it? Well, I think you should clear the air. It's not good to like keep a grudge and be nervous around someone or avoiding them or something like that. So you should clear the air with them and just say like, listen, like I don't want to fight or anything. I don't, there's no, I don't know how you kids talk these days. You'd be like all good dog or something like that, whatever. But like, you know, yeah, yeah. But just basically just be like, let's just move on. It's cool. You know, let's just try to like, just let's just be cool with each other. All right. And the man. It's just part of growing up, and like kids are learning how to behave, so they're just dicks to each other, and you just gotta go through it, and then you learn, and you know, and they learn too, and that's just how it is. Sorry, <laughs> it's, it's not all nice, you know, but it's, it'll be okay. All right, who else has friendship, relationship drama? You want Dr. Corey mm -hmm. to analyze for you? People always say Stanley Kubrick has an immense attention to detail, but Eyes Wide Shut is so obviously shot somewhere in the UK and not New York. Same with Full Metal Jacket. High school is everyone's personal yeah. hell. Unless you conquer high school. If you're the king of high school, it's pretty great. I had yeah. I had major ups and downs in high school. I went from being super popular to being bullied to being a bully to having <laughs> terrible grades to good grades, and then I ended up fine my senior year. But it was all over the place. Yeah. Um, I was on the basketball team when I was a freshman, yeah. so I was popular because our school was really into sports, so like if you're on a sports team, you're like, you know, everyone treats you nice, but then I was dating this girl that a junior liked, and he had dated her before, and then he hated me and he bullied me, but then since I was on the basketball team, the varsity basketball guys that were all juniors and seniors like stood up for me, Right. but then some of them were friends with this guy too. So it just right. became this really weird, like, you know, Romeo and Juliet thing, like two different clans, like clashing and like, what side are you on? I was like, I don't want it to be like this. Like, what the hell? That guy just had an attitude problem, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, he, him and some of his friends were just like, just, I'd be just walking right. down the hall and just randomly I'll just do get it. shoved downstairs from behind or something easy. like that, That's you know? And it's like, it will cost you. fuck, it's all right, I gotta go to class now. It's like so embarrassing. Um, I never did anything that mean to anybody. All I did egg my friend randomly, but that was outside of school. Yeah. My GPA went from 2.0 freshman year to 4.0 sophomore year. Kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Good job. I realized that there's life after high school, and that you gotta. You gotta have grades. Yeah, you gotta have grades. Yeah. Yeah, those are kind of important, huh? Yeah. But it's a hard time. You, you learn a lot of, of life skills, you know, not just the book stuff, but like how to interact with people. And um, just have sympathy, I think. Have sympathy for people, you know, and empathy for them. And that'll get you far. Even if they, do, they won't have it for you because they don't understand it yet. You know, they're still learning how to do it, so. Lewis played basketball and football in high school. Of course. Okay, you want to fight? I've always been fascinated by those American high school movies and their stereotypes since my high school experience was nothing like that. There were no big bullies or anything. Everyone had a basic level of respect. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's not America. Yeah. We're the land of Trump. Mm -hmm. People like bullying. Well, now they're, we're the land of school shootings. I mean, they have, like, training for how to react to a shooter, right? Like, the way that there used to be, like, 
you know, fire drills or like nuclear drills, like everyone would get under your desk. The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. Oh man. To sneak into this palace. Couldn't stand some of the teachers you had in high school. Yeah, me too. That's why I was getting D's, because like I was getting into arguments with my teachers and like they thought I was a bad egg and stuff like that. Well, they were right. <laughs> but then I found other teachers who like believed in me and knew how to get me interested and like get me to motivated and stuff and then I I did well. Mm, promise you Miami Vice reruns if you Well, I had a history teacher who showed me last the Mohicans and I was like, You bet your ass I'm studying for this final. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean yeah, I speak in my language. I pretend I'm a bad egg, but I'm actually a really good guy. Eh. <laughs> I might actually you're be ruined. a sociopath. I'm not sure. You're ruining his allure if you say that. Yeah. It's Devin. You know, on that topic, I have this... Um, the, the army uses different types of grenades in their training, and they color coordinate them so they know just by looking at it what it is. And if it has a little blue stripe on it, it means it's a dud. It's been disarmed it will never blow up you cannot like light it on fire to make it blow up or anything it'll never blow up it doesn't have explosives in it it's right. just the casing of a grenade right. but it looks and feels everything like it of a real grenade i have one of those i thought it'd be funny without saying anything to anybody to bring it on stream and pull the pin and go ah and then trip the cord with my foot to make it seem like we suddenly like blew up and i was like oh you can't do that in today's political climate because people might actually think it's real and not just a funny joke but um i thought about it I'm not going to do it. That is pretty effed up, but yeah. I appreciate the prank. Yeah. It's funny, because it looks like a real... I do it when people come over to my house, because I have it just sitting on my coffee table. I, I hold it up, and I'm like, hey, what's this? And I pull the pin and toss it to them. Like, ah! ah! <laughs> That's a real metal pin that you pull and everything. You know? Yeah, I know. I'm just <laughs> saying, like, if you pulled a grenade... If I went to your house, and you pulled a grenade out and pulled the pin, I would, and you toss it to me, I would assume that it was a fake grenade. Yeah. You wouldn't fool me with that. You'd have to, like, sh tell me about this World War II grenade you actually had mm -hmm. and, like, how it's real. Like, you'd, you'd have to sell the story yeah. for me a little bit. Well, I mean, it was my grandpa's from World War II. And, but, um, yeah, I mean, but you it was, told me that, and yeah. then, you know, you were like, see, look, you can pull the pin. It's fine as long as you put it back in. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you accidentally drop the pin, and, you know, that'd yeah. be like, oh, shnikes. You're getting calls. Somebody wants to talk to you, talk to you, talk to you. Somebody wants to talk to you. Ooh. Is this game any good? It's pretty cool, yeah. It got overshadowed by Red Dead, but it is very fun. I think this is a dumb way of approaching this. I think I should have killed everything first before attacking the leader. Wow, that guy's strong. Yeah. Yeah, he's way stronger than I am, and I think this is dumb for me to try and go fight him like this. I think I should have tried to stealth assassinate him first instead of... Oh, he's like rage mode or something. You, uh, he and Prime was a teacher's pet. They threw a lunchbox at someone that stole their Pokemon cards. High school is just like the high school movies. Like Ferris Bueller. Day bow bow. Oh, I had a great action movie moment in high school. Oh, I got the shroud. Look at that. So, I had lots of funny stories in high school, but one that one of my most proudest stories that was literally like an action chase scene in a movie like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Oh! So, the guy who's, uh, who I egged, he had a little brother that was a little piece of crap. And um, like one day we were all sitting in the house and I had a tennis ball and I threw it across the living room and it hit this kid here in the calf. He started crying and he called 911 on me. And the cops showed up and they're like, what's going on? Da, da, da. And we all explained the situation. And the cops were like, don't call us anymore. And he would always call the cops anytime he got upset. He's like a little, little pain in the ass. So we had a town plaza with a duck pond and there were baby ducks in the duck pond. This little brother of my friend, his name was David. He stole the ducklings from the pond and rode home with it in the little carriage of his bicycle and kept them in his backyard. 
and me and my friend Bullmaster, and we called him Bullmaster because he had a bull cut even though he was like 15 and all, every other boy had to like got rid of No, him. no, no, I should have ran away. I should have ran away. So anyway, he's a 15 year old who never lost his bull cut, so he's the Bullmaster. And he had his license, and um, so I guess he was 16 then. And we decided we're gonna rescue these ducklings and return them to the town plaza because like that's ridiculous that you would steal the ducks from their habitat and keep them in your backyard, you know, like that's cruel. And we didn't like this little kid. So we just, we had one friend distract him and then we gathered up all the ducks in a towel and got in the car and we're backing out of the driveway and David realizes what's happening and he runs out jumps on the hood of the car, and he's all crying and smashing the hood. Give me back my ducks, give me back my ducks. And I look over at Bullmaster, I'm like, floor it, Bullmaster. He goes full reverse, peels out of the driveway, and then slams on the brakes, and the David goes up against the windshield, and then Bullmaster guns it and goes forward, and then slams on the brakes, and David just rolls off onto the road. And then we skid out and go around him and go back to the plaza, and we're dropping off the ducks in the plaza and then David had gone back into the house and called the cops on us and said there's these kids stealing ducks from the uh, the plaza and then the cops showed up at the plaza as we were delivering the ducks back into the plaza and then they were like questioning us what's going on you're stealing the ducks we're like no we're putting the ducks back and it took we finally explained everything and they believed us but man it's nuts and then David went on to become one of the biggest drug dealers in Sonoma County wow yeah He's Over. a little son of a bitch. There's Bounty Hunter over here after us, too. That's Bullmaster B O W L because it's like a bowl cut. You know, it's like the haircut that like every boy has up until they're like 11 and then they realize they gotta get like a man's haircut. So he was like a man with a bowl cut, so that's what's hilarious about it. Oh, dude, this is so bad. Like, last time I was able to fight this guy on his own, and now I have to fight everyone with him. Like, like I killed him, I got the objective, and then I got greedy. Like, look, my health is way worse this time, because there's all these guys shooting at me and stuff. Ah! I got, why did I get so greedy? Thomas tough. Remaster Resistance has a story here. Uh huh. I could have a story I could tell. I used to prank call the local Domino's Pizza place all the time because I was a dumb kid and it used to be the same guy. One time I was doing some friends, the guy so frustrated said, If I ever see you on the street, I'm going to gut you and strangle you with your own intestines. That's awesome. <laughs> has that ever been done in a movie? Our, our boss used to, um, when I worked at a fast food place, our boss used to crank call us <laughs> at the fast food place. So then I started having, like, uh, but then, like, after he kept doing it, I started coming up with some really offensive things to say. Oh, yeah. Answered, stuff I wouldn't even say now. Mm -hmm. And then he pretended like he was someone else, like, or I actually did say that to a customer. I'm not, yes. I'm pretty sure I didn't say it to a customer. I'm pretty sure it was him, but then he called back. Like, he called back and gave the phone to one of his friends saying how offensive what I said was and how they didn't talk to someone. And we were just like, uh, that's funny. Key and Prime, that's the correct spelling. You set your parents' phone number to the nearby Pizza Hut, and one day the teacher said she was going to call my mom. <laughs> or your mom, I mean. <laughs> oh, you stole that from a meme. Oh. You prank called a teacher with a voice thing from Home Alone 2. <laughs> I'm king of the cool jacks. Cool jacks. Now I want to watch Home Alone 1 and 2. Yeah, man. They're great. I guess it's seasonally appropriate. Yeah. There's, you can only really watch Home Alone like between Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's not really an yeah. acceptable movie to watch the rest of the year. It is crazy how that kid grew up to become the villain in Saw, though. Huh. Same phone who dis was one of the kids in high school that had a backpack with wheels. Oh, man. I know those kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We have been, we assassinated our first target. So this time I'm going to try and thin the herd out and play the game like you're probably actually supposed to play it, where you you know slowly slim down everyone so that they don't all attack you all at once. Stealth kills. Stealth kills. Precisely. 
because my strategy was not a good one. They're saying if you lose the next battle, you owe Link two dollars. I don't know Link shit. Oh man, why are there so many of them? Who would win in a fight? Kevin from Home Alone or the Predator? Kevin can use lethal versions of his traps because he's aware of the Predator. I mean, let's be real here. Like, I like Kevin. Predator would massacre him. He's a child. I'm gonna go hide because I don't think I can fight all those guys. I'm playing this game badly. I want everyone to know that I'm not this bad at video games normally. This is just unfortunate. Oh, that's the bounty hunter. Shit! Same phone who just got chased by a bulldog <laughs> while they had their dumb, heavy, wheelie backpack that they had to carry. <laughs> uh, sorry. No, stay away! Being in class, I remember like how much anxiety I would have. Like they're gonna call on me when I don't know the answer, or they want me to read out loud, and there's like words that I don't know how to pronounce. God, so nerve wracking. And you lay lay there in bed having stressed dreams about it, and like falling asleep, like recounting all the embarrassing things that happened. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That still happens. Like every once in a while, I'll like remember something really embarrassing from like ninth grade. I'm like, oh why. How about Kevin versus Swole Adam? I don't know how resourceful Swole Adam is, like if he just uses his brute Swole Force, or if he like has strategy and stuff, like with his um, fighting technique. He did do martial arts, but it's like, I don't know about cunning, like where he ranks, because I know Kevin is very cunning. I'm gonna say Kevin, and Adam would have to come in and defend his honor and make a case for why he would be able to beat Kevin McAllister. Otherwise, Kevin is the default choice. So Adam would destroy Kevin? Well, like, in a straight-up wrestling match, yes. But we're talking, like, if the stakes are... We're talking about, like, a nice, you know, colonial-style house in Chicago. And Adam has to enter the house, and Kevin's already in the house. Kevin would definitely win. What social group was I in? Um, I was in two at the same time, which was really weird. I was uh, with the jocks, sort of, because I, I played basketball and baseball. So I hung out with all them, and I practiced with them every day after school, so we'd hang out all the time. And then on the weekends and stuff, we go to games and tournaments. And um, but I was also a big computer geek, and I loved playing Unreal Tournament and Counter Strike and Dungeons and Dragons. So I had a different group of friends for that, and um, I kind of like went back and forth between those two groups. And those two groups did not like each other at all or hang out at each other with each other at all. But I kind of was a switch hitter. Which social group was James in? Uh, James was um, a gangbanger with yeah. the Crips, and um, he had to prove himself. So he he had to murder somebody. Yeah. Um, his Poor first Sam's week of joining. Now, so, yeah. You know. Yeah, it never went on his permanent record. They yeah. couldn't prove it was him. Yeah. Well, actually, I did a good job with it. Really. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Pretty disturbing, actually, because. It was a cold winter day, and he had to stab the guy, and you could see steam rising up out of the guy's wounds. Native American people used to say that was his soul escaping his body. 
Corey, who would win, me or you? Well, Lewis, I don't. How old are you? And how big are you? Do this. Let's do this. Let's go. Come on. Favorite movie between Ferris Bueller's Day Off and The Breakfast Club? Ferris. Oh no, the, the Bounty Hunter too. Oh, this shit. is crap. This is crap. Yeah, you still have full health at least. Yeah, but there's two characters. Now there are two of them. <laughs> you should not, not have this bargain. This bargain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, there was a guy that looked like those aliens at our high school, so we called him Trade Federation. Oh. <laughs> And there's another kid that looked like Malcolm in the middle. You did so we'd believe. always go up to him and be like, Life is unfair. Oh. <laughs> With the, the eyes poking through. <laughs> oh, we were such dicks. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, 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 Run, 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 I'm out of health, out of health, out of health. So, run, 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 I'm out of health. Da, 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 da. Lewis is almost 20 years old and six foot. Well, you have youth on your side. I'm an old geezer, so you probably have better stamina than me. But, um. Whew. Yeah, dog. Look at that health regen. Look at that health yeah, regen. That's pretty Let's good. Let's go. All right, here we go. What type of fight do you want to do, Lewis? Like, what, what martial art? Do you want weapons? Do you want fists? Is it like boxing rules or MMA rules or like what? Have you heard of Rocksteady's new game? Is a Batman game and not a Superman game? I have heard and I'm not saying. I wouldn't tell you what another dev was working on if I knew because that's for them to tell you. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, but I have heard supposedly. I wish it was a Modoc game. I keep so. hoping for a Modoc game. I hope I keep hoping that Ted is gonna like make an all hands meeting for Insomniac. Like, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. Spider-Man with a big hit. Now we're gonna make Modok, alright? We're gonna bring Modok to a new generation. Yes! Yes! Shit. Shit. You don't care what type don't of fight, fight the you bounty just hunter. Don't, don't fight the bounty hunter, James. What are you doing? We could box like Rocky. Um I'd box you, Lewis. James Yeah, Peter we went inside. Corey and I saw Creed last week. Yeah, that was cool. pretty good. Huh? Creed 2's good. I've seen a lot of movies the last few weeks. Kind of like an obscene amount. I'm a little, almost like a little tired of the movie theater. As weird as that is, I, would, I, I can't believe I'm saying that. I saw Crimes of Grindelwald for a second time last night. Oh. Because um, I went to Harry Potter Land for the, uh, for the uh, holiday lights at the Harry Potter Land since mm -hmm. it's the first time they've ever lit it up for the holidays and decorated for the holidays, which is pretty cool. Anytime you get to go in there and ride the Harry Potter ride a few times, it's great. Lewis, the glasses are off, so it's a fair game. Um, when when I was a freshman in high school, Fight Club, the movie came out, so it was like hugely influential to all my friends, Circle and I. So we like did backyard boxing for like a couple years. So we boxed a lot. I, I didn't get really good at it, but um, I've done it a little bit. I really screwed up my wrist one year actually because I like. Actually got in some good hits, but it, it hurts your hands. Like I didn't realize. And then my friend's older brother like realized what we were doing, and he came in and he was like, "Oh, here, let me do it too." And he just murdered. He beat me up so fast. Like I box my other friends, and it'd be like you know just kind of we're just going at it and having fun, and, you know, getting a couple good hits in each other. And then my friend's older brother came in. I get him once in the nose, and the blood gets down on his shirt, and then he gets all pissed off, and he comes at me, hits me square in the cheek and I lose all my balance and fall down he sits on me like that and it's going boom 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 like that and then they pulled him off and I was like whoa what happened I was like a bloody pulp uh Jesse Warner says the Spider-Man jackets look slick uh yeah they were a gift from Sony Marketing to everyone here on the oh, yeah. team mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. they're pretty cool PlayStation yeah. Nike and Sony I got to help them with the layout for this actually Oh, did you really? Yeah, I did. They they showed me the proofs, and I was like, yeah, you should use this logo and put it here and make it this size. And <laughs> was I on that email or not? Uh, you might have been. Uh, or you like, might have been out. You might have been. I mean, I probably was traveling, traveling so like I missed yeah. it. I, I never saw these until they showed up. I was like, oh, these are freaking cool. There was um there was one design choice I wanted that they didn't implement, though. I said they should have spider webs right here and right here. Oh. They didn't do it oh. for some oh. reason. Hmm. Um, well, Lewis, you know, they might look you make you look like kind of pasty white if you had those there. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, Lewis, we would do gloves because I don't want to mess up your money maker. No bare fist. What's your favorite cake? I love a classic chocolate. Mm. I do love yellow cake with chocolate frosting. Oh, I like confetti cake. Confetti cake's good, especially like the old Scott style when the, you know, like. They had like the little chips in the frosting like mm -hmm. before they got weird. Oh, I heard that there's a recall. There's salmonella in all the um, cake mix at the stores. What? Not Betty Crocker, but what's the other one? Uh, Sara Lee. Not Sara Lee. Uh, Pillsbury? Uh, it's like, it sounds like Hanes, but that's an underwear company. What is it? Heinz? I don't know. Hmm. Wow. How does salmonella get in a cake mix? It's like a dry thing. Egg. There's egg, There's right? no egg in cake mixes. You use your own eggs at home. Oh. Well, I saw that there was a recall notice on them all. Yeah. All right. So watch out. You sure you're not talking about romaine lettuce? Yeah, it's not. It, here, look. I'll do cake mix recall. Okay. I don't know how you would right confuse now. romaine lettuce with... Duncan Hines. Oh. I knew it was like Hines. Oh, yeah. Oh. FDA probes salmonella risk. Food giant Conagra is recalling 2.4 million boxes of its Duncan Hines cake mix, warning that one variety of popular product tested positive for salmonella. Crazy. Well, Cassandra? Kian Prime says Justin versus Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, if we had, if we, if Gordon Ramsay would do a kitchen show with us, he missed an episode, we would set up a whole kitchen in here. It'd be crazy. I know, and then he'd come in and he'd be like, this is shit! This is shit, mate! This is shit! That was more Australian than British. Oh. You donkey! Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing to the John Dory? You'll kill somebody! How can you serve this? Perhaps. Well, Lewis, whenever you come out here, it has been five recalls. The boxing and... stream. There have been a lot of recalls, yeah. Yeah, well, you know. Me. More antibiotics used, more superbugs we have. Yes. Soon it's going to kill us all off. Do this Zombie yep. apocalypse. Um, yep. James versus Gordon Ramsay in a swearing contest. So I give my bucket. Well, I don't know, actually. If Gordon Ramsay's not in the kitchen, I'm not sure he could swear as well. Like, if he's not, like, in a kitchen getting really worked up, I don't think he's that guy. Oh, Gordon is Scottish. I'm not oh, really? Uh, yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, but his what accent is not very Scottish. Mm. How's that? He doesn't sound very Scottish. Gordon Ramsay's more nice to children. Yes, I've seen that Instagram post where he's like telling some little girl, even though she messed up, that it's okay or something when she's crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've no, all seen it. He's very nice. In, he's very nice in general. Of course. Uh, he's a very I nice dude in general. Uh, if you, uh, I've, I've seen him. The seas him are once much more dangerous, I'm afraid. My name is El Pendor. You may have noticed one of my nipples is exposed, but not the other one. This is the way of my people. You won't be disappointed. I am. I need to get better gear before we do anything else. Oh, El Pendor. Alright. Oh, look, we get the Shroud of Penelope. Well, that's probably a good helmet. I'll take the oh, that's to give us the assassin look. I get it. Oh man, God, sometimes I'm busted. Man, dude, you need the chiropractor. Fortunately, she's not here till tomorrow. Hopefully, she is here tomorrow. Can I do a Shrek impression? Oh look, my assassin mm. damage way up. I don't uh, think I can do a Shrek impression because it's Mike Myers being Scottish, and he always does the Scottish impersonations. He's part Scottish, actually. I can't really do Scottish. Ah, spear, and I don't have a level four. Hey, donkey. I can't. It's hard to do. There's rumors of more assassins. Uh, they're saying Gordon Ramsay is actually British. Thank you. I didn't think he had a Scottish accent. So, uh, yeah, well. So, you know what's interesting? Chris Farley was going to be the voice of Shrek. Uh -huh. And then he died. So then they had Mike Myers do it instead. And while I think that Shrek was a very good series and Mike Myers is great and um, all that... I don't think that Mike Myers' Scottish accent for Shrek really worked so well. It felt sort of forced. And when I saw the um, animatic tests with Chris Farley's voices, which you can find them on YouTube if you search for like Chris Farley Shrek, I think it works better with Chris Farley. And it would have been oh. great to see the movies with Chris Farley. This stupid, stupid bounty hunter just found me. Like, I'm just minding my own business. I mm. All right. Well, that's enough for today. Uh, we'll play. Probably play some Pokemon. Let's go. 
Wednesday, see if we can get maybe Sophie to come in. We're going to try and get some people to come play some Smash Brothers. Maybe we'll squeeze in Hitman one day next week, Smash Brothers again next week as mm -hmm. well. North Carolina will be streaming. Uh, we're just all feeling senioritis right now because yes. we have a four-week break coming up. Um, but hope you guys are having a great December. Happy December. 22 days till Christmas. Three weeks from tomorrow. Get your Christmas shopping going. And um, enjoy uh, streaming with North Carolina tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific. And like I said, we'll see you back here on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific for some Pokemon Let's Go. And hopefully Corey and I won't wear the same thing. It's okay. These are pretty snazzy. Yeah, they are snazzy. Yeah. All right. Thank you all for all your comments and for being in the chat. We love you all. Bye.